and I'm back. Welcome to Mrs. C Math Two class. Today's lesson is exponent rule. Um, these are the six common or basic rule that we are using in studying exponent rules. I hope I can explain this as easy as possible. Um, you can find this uh, rule on my PDF file on page 2. Alright, for the first rule, it says product rule. So the product rule says if two bases are, or in multiplying two bases that are the same, write the base and add the exponent. So in here, you have copy the base and add the exponent. So you're going to add m plus n. That's it. I'll give you an example. x squared times x to the 6. So again, copy the, exp uh, copy the base and add the exponent which will give you x to the 8. Alright? Another one. x raised to 4 times x raised to negative 2. So x raised to 4 plus negative 2 is equal to what? x raised to? Okay, very good. 2. Does it make sense to you? Another example. x squared y to the 4th multiply by x to the 6, y to negative 3. Okay? We're multiplying that. So again, copy the base and add the exponent. Copy the base and add the exponent. Alright? So 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. 4, y will be equal to 1. So the answer would be x to the 8th power, y. Since 1 can be imaginary if it is an exponent. I hope you understand product rule. Next, quotient rule. To divide same base, write the base, and subtract the exponent. Write the base and subtract the exponent. Now, example. You have x raised to 4 over x raised to 2. Since 4 is greater than 2, I would rather put 2 on the numerator. So x to the 4th minus 2 is equal to x raised to positive 2. Now, I'm avoiding um, a negative exponent. So just in case your problem looks like this one, x squared divided by x to the 4th, instead of putting 4 or subtracting 4 from 2, I would still subtract 2 from 4. So I'll do this. 1 over x to the 4 minus 2. So the answer would be 1 over x squared. By doing this, you are avoiding the exponent to become a negative number. So that will be your answer. Next, let's make it more like a little bit complicated. X squared, y to the fourth, x and then, oops, uh, y to the eighth. Or let's have z, z negative one and then, oh, later, later. No negative yet. And then three and then z raised to four. All right. So which one is greater? Whoever contains the bigger exponent should be the boss, should be um, followed. So I will subtract 1 from 2. So that will be x raised to 2 minus 1. And then since 8 is greater than 4, I will put y down below in the denominator. And 8 minus 4 will be my setup. Then since 4 is greater than 3, so I'm going to have z here down below in the denominator. So 4 minus 3 will be like that. So my final answer will be x over y to the 4th power z raised to 1. And as what I said, if you are putting 1 as an exponent, it can be imaginary because that is acceptable. That is correct. So that's the answer. 
I hope you learned something from quotient rule. Next, zero exponent rule. Any base raised to the zero power except zero is equal to one. What do I mean by that? So this base, which is x, since it is raised to the zero power, this will be equal to one. Example, x squared, y to the fourth, z to the 10 power, raised to zero. It only means that everything raised to zero is equal to one. Another example, x raised to four over y, y cubed, raised to the zero power is equal to, that is correct, one over one is equal to one. So still one. What about, I'm going to trick you just a little bit. Two, x to the zero power, y to the four. What do you think is the answer for that? Okay, you just need to apply the zero exponent rule onto the base which has a zero power. Now, for those who do not have any zero exponent, you will just copy it. Turn your uh, base that is raised into the zero power into one and then y to the fourth. So your final answer will be two y to the fourth. Does it make sense to you? Thank you. Now, so for example, you have two x squared divided by four y to the zero power, uh, y to the uh, zero power, and then um, z to the 20th power, whatever, all right? So what do you think is the answer for that? Now, all those zero power, oh, this is 20, I'm sorry. I'm not including that one. Should be equal to one. So I'll copy those to x squared for z to the 20th power. Now, can I subtract? or divide x squared and z to the 20th power? The answer is no, so leave it like that. Can I simplify 2 over 4? The answer is yes. So simplifying 2 over 4 will give us x squared to z to the 20th power. Since 2 and 4 is divisible by 2. All right, I hope you learned something from zero exponent rule. Next, power, power rule. If a power is raised into a power, write the base and multiply the exponent. So m times n. Example, x squared raised to the fourth power. So that's x times 2 times 4, which, I'm sorry, I didn't write the answer here. x raised to n times. So which is x to the a power? Next, x squared, y to the fourth, raised to the third power. Ooh, seems like it's big, right? But it's not. So x squared times 3, y to the fourth times 3. So therefore, the answer will be x to the sixth, y to the 12th power. See that? Isn't it simple? Next, let's make it a little bit complicated. I got two x to the 4th, raised to the 8th. Do I need to multiply 8 to the 12? What do you think? The answer is no. Since 2 is not raised into the 8th power, you will just copy 2. And only x to the 4th will be multiplied by 8. So the answer would be 2x raised to whatever 8 times 4 is, and that is 32. All right? So this will be your answer. Next, another example. Um, I will have, oh, we did these, but it should be an expanded loop. That's fine. All right, another one will be um, x raised to 2, raised to 3 over 4. Oh, some kind of a, you know, a rational exponent here. So you're going to have, so numerator to numerator, x raised to 6 over 4. Can we simplify 6 over 4? The answer is yes. So the final answer would be x raised to 3 over 2. Does it make sense to you? All right. Next, so it's 9.54, so you'll only have a few more minutes. Expanded power rule. 
this is some kind of a power rule also but this time we are making it um we're adding more variables into it for example x y the i have two bases and i only have one uh, exponent so i need to multiply i mean i need to distribute each of these uh, or each of these exponent to be bases so i have x raised to m and y raised to m exam oh here what about if it is a fraction so x raised to m and y raised to m so that the answer would be x raised to m y over m example All right. x squared y to the fourth z to the third power so raised to, for example, 2. Okay, each one of these will receive 2. All right, x squared, y to the fourth, z cubed. Oop, 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 oop. So I need to put 2, I need to put 2. So the answer would be x to the fourth, y to the eighth, z to the sixth power. Does it make sense to you? Let's do fraction. For example, 2, x squared over 3, y to the third power, raised to 2. What will I do? That's what I said. Whatever is inside the parentheses should receive the blessing or the exponent 2. I call it as a blessing. All right. So 2 raised to 2, x squared times 2, 3 raised to 2, y raised to 3 times 2. So the answer will be 2 times 2 is 4, x raised to 4, 3 times 3 is 9, y raised to what? That is correct, 6. So that will be the end of expand power rule. Let's go to negative exponent. Anything raised to a negative power should be what? Uh, corrected. All right. So if a numerator and denominator uh, move across the uh, fraction bar, the exponent change or change into or the exponent change into uh, its opposite sign. What do I mean by that? So if x raised to negative m. So this is in the numerator. So I need to rewrite this as into opposite like this okay so my x raised to m cross over or move across to the fraction bar that's why the m turns into positive so here 1 over x raised to negative m this time my negative is in the denominator so we need to move it across into the uh, fraction bar into the numerator so you're gonna have x so I'm going to move it there, that. x raised to m over 1, right? Or you can just flip it over if you, that's the term that you want to use. And the answer would be x raised to m. Example, 2, x raised to negative 3, y raised to negative 4. What is the answer? So all of these is in the numerator. So you're going to flip it over, flip it over. For some terms of some students, they are using that, so I will be using that also. The so answer would be 2 over x raised to 3, y raised to 4. Why I did not change the position of the 2? Because 2 has an exponent of a positive number, which is 1. All right. So we're going to, we're running out of time. Okay. We still have one more minute. So you're going to have, hmm, for instance, 4 x raised to negative 3, y raised to 5 over 5 raised to negative 1 x raised to negative 3 also and then y raised to negative 2 all right let's do that so for we need to keep it on top y cube x cube we need to flip it over like change the position or oh, let's change this one so i won't you won't be confused so this will be 4 so since negative 3 is negative i'm gonna put it down 5 is a negative, so I need to put it up. So this is 3. See that? I put it in the denominator. Negative 4 is a negative, so I need to put it up. X raised to 4. 
Y to the fifth is a positive, so I need to keep it like that in the numerator.